It's Christmas and something extremely special today, guys. Bam! Oh, it's Gatcha Man time. So you've seen the action figures they've released, but you've never seen this. This never came out of Japan, but it's something really special and awesome. All you Battle of Planets Gatcha Man fans will want to stay tuned because this is just fantastic. A company called Uni5 made this. Uh, so before we start, quick story. So I got this many, many years ago, probably about 14 years ago. It was an actual Christmas present, which I had to put money to. Um, but yeah, so let's do the unboxing. Right, I mean, this thing is gorgeous. I just couldn't believe when I had the chance to buy it and I just had to get it. So we'll pop that back there for now, because we will need that in a minute. And we'll look at this. Uh, a few bits have come loose in there. Uh, yeah, this is something, something very, very special. And it's extremely expensive if you purchase it on eBay. And, uh, yeah. Oh, the sides. The Gatcha Man logo. Oh, we actually have the back. So here we go. Front, back, undercarriage, and the stand. G4, G1, Science Ninja Team. It doesn't say it, but I know who they are. John! Rio the Owl, Junpei. That looks like Bird Katze. And yes! Uh, this actually was nearly Christmas video last year, but I was a bit worried about taking it out because it's very, very, it's die cast. It's one of those things that's very, very delicate. And, uh, right. Am I regretting it yet? No, I'm not. So, we have. Quite funny how the thing is die cast, yet the stand itself is plastic. Right. This is G1. Let's pop them to one side. G2 for Joe. And yes, the wheels do spin. Hey, this thing is tiny. And we have. Oh. Oh, I'm so scared. One out one. Uh, G3, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> so we take this out because that's uh, part of the base and uh, mm, I don't think I've ever built it before it's quite ah I see I see these bits turn around um, so we go up mm, it is ah uh, right that in there. That was a bit awkward to get in. Ha ha ha. Yes, not awkward at all. Thank you, that's a logo. Ah, and that's our new cat in the background, if you can hear him. He's uh, can't quite meow properly yet. <laughs> he's quite young, but he's getting there. And he sounds like he's singing to himself in the hallway. <laughs> ah, there you go, guys, a Christmas gift. All right, let's see if we can get this in. Hmm, this is extremely fiddly. <laughs> yes, one day he's just going to wake up and go, meow, and he will have his meow. All right, let's see, did I tie this back up? Ah, we have paperwork. All right. Thing is, this isn't the first time I've opened the paperwork. I know I checked it all when I bought it. So let's have a ganders. All right. Translations, please. Yeah, it's pretty cool because where the vehicles go, it all works. It all works. It's really, really cool. And you kind of like, oh, I did. All right. So there it is, John, 
Are you princesses? Pretty cool. <laughs> he really wants to be heard in the background, doesn't he? Right. So, I've got to undo those. I'll be right back. Right. So, there he is. <laughs> this is the guy that's the culprit. Yes, he's wearing a pink <laughs> collar and a bow. My daughter's dressed him lovely. <laughs> So this is the new member of the family. This is the squeaky one you heard a minute ago. And he always looks quite happy. I personally think he looks like Ron Perlman. <laughs> but anyway, say bye-bye. Okay, so the cat is now safely out of the way in a different room. Let's continue with this. All right, so I've undone the twirly bits. Ah, oh, he says. And I'm going to release the Kraken. Oh, wow, I keep forgetting how heavy this is. All right. Hmm. <laughs> to remember how it goes on. Ah, there we go. All right. And this is absolutely solid. I do not remember what any of this does. I really don't. Um, it has bits that move. Um, God, I forgot how weighty it is. It is absolutely lovely. I mean, wow, wow. Definitely like a bird cat say type ship. Right, so let's try and remember. One, two, three, and four. So I remember, because that's huge, oh yeah, this because it's huge, he somehow goes in the front, but he can't, look. No, I think he's uh, not welcome on this one. Hmm, there's a button. I don't remember what it does. Ah, there we go. Oh yes, it fires a special missile. Does the missile come out? No, it doesn't. It's solid. I forgot about that. It's really cool. It's really cool. Hmm, we have buttons on the side. No, I don't remember what anything does. Uh, push this one. And this one. Oh, um, well, something clicked. I don't know what it was, though. Ah, oh, this has come off. Oh, I see. Ah, so when it transforms, you push that and they pop out. Do, 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 do. Right, so we've got the missile out, so let's pop the missile back down for now. I don't know how to. Right, did it just clip in? Oh, it just clicks in. Right, then we have down here. Now, I know this opens somehow. I mean, it all opens. I mean, look at this. I mean, they say it's die cast. Um, they open like so. I mean, there's not much that they didn't look at that. That is absolutely stunning design. That is really, really cool. And now um, for things I don't remember, like I'm looking at it, you see, I remember that these parts here open, right? And you're supposed to put vehicles in them. Oh, this one's, oh yeah, this one's a, I think that one there is for that. And pop it in there and it just closes. Don't remember what that one's for. It's got a claw. Right. Reference in the box quickly. The box is referenced and now things make so much more sense. <laughs> right, this one pops in there. Okay. That one here is for this one. It looks really difficult to get in, so for the sake of time. We'll just push him in, shall we? I'm not showing you, sorry. Awful camera work. And yep, see, it all stays in there. And then this one here does have somewhere to go. They come down. He goes in the back like so. So there we go. Yay, bird go. But wait, there's more. It's a screamer. So let's pop the undercarriage back up for now. We'll close them. Um, there isn't all the way closing, so we we'll close that and that. What is that? Ah! <laughs> I had this for years and I'm still seeing things I didn't know. Fan, open, shut. Open, shut. Open, shut. Open, shut. Mm. And then. We have to pop this up, back out, we pop that down, and we pop that in. And we'll just rest that there for now. And now we're going to pop that back. Please stay on there. Because we have this. 
And this, I always remember, made me laugh because of what it actually is. Um, right, let's grab all the paperwork he bits out. That's in it. No idea. Right. We then have this. Now, the reason this is there, because... Take out of its plastic packaging. You get this. And everyone's going, uh, what is that? <laughs> um, so we've got this part here, which is the head. Pops on there. And then we can open this up. And that pops off like that. And you have that. And then basically what you can do is you can put that inside there. So you put it in there, then you pop it in there at an angle, and you rest it, and you have like God Phoenix, Super God Phoenix bird mode. Uh, yeah, and you mm, can't really see it there, so we pop it around the other way, like so. And yeah, I mean this has got to be one of my favourite collectibles ever, it's absolutely lovely. That thing has always been horrible, you touch it, it's just all yeah, gooey and sticky and shiny, and it's just the material it's made out of. But yeah, that is absolutely fantastic. I love this. So it's got re-released. Yeah, so in the re-release, basically, uh, they changed a lot of the die-cast to plastic, whereas if that is all die-cast and painted. But yeah, this is the original. Absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite collectibles ever. And uh, yeah. So that is the Unified God Phoenix die-cast model. Bird Goal!